City officials say the new ride program, Uber, isn't operating legally in Eugene, and not only does it need to become licensed, drivers need to be certified. KEZI 9 News anchor Jennifer Richardson shows us how Uber works, the concerns from a local cab company, and the response from the city. The city says it knows Uber is not a traditional taxi service, and that's why it spent the last couple of weeks having the city attorney's office look at how it operates. It found it is covered by the public passenger code. However, it says licensing and certification is still needed. Meanwhile, the service is just taking off. Passengers are loving it, and drivers say it's provided them some much-needed jobs. It's the U app steering riders in a new direction. Uber just launched in Eugene a couple of months ago and is gaining popularity. Uber driver Brenda Laird is a top five driver in Eugene. She let us ride with her as she picked up passengers. And for me, this job was a life set. I needed to get work. And Brenda I, cleans houses as her main job and says the reason she likes Uber, she picks her own hours. I work for myself. Here's how it works. As a passenger, you have to download the Uber app on your iPhone, Android, or Windows Mobile. You put in your credit card number and then just hail away. It alerts drivers like Brenda, who have iPhones provided by Uber, and they have to accept the ride quickly. We got a ride. This rider was heading to class at the University of Oregon and told us she loves it because it's fast and convenient. At the end of the ride, you rate your driver, and your driver rates you. The driver has to hold a 4.6 star rating at all times, or their count is deactivated. It's brought so much safety and convenience to transportation systems all over the world. Um, it's, been, it's been great, and so we're really, really excited to be here in Eugene. Brooke Steger is Uber's general manager for the Pacific Northwest. She says Uber is operating in 180 cities around the world and that all of Uber's drivers are given background checks and their cars are inspected. She says the rides are calculated per minute and per mile. And there's no cash exchange in the vehicle. All payments are automatic. Not everyone is completely happy with the way Uber is operating, though. Taxi cab drivers and owners like Oregon Taxi say they're just asking that ride sharing companies all operate on the same level playing field. All of our background checks, our insurance, our, um, our, our vehicle inspections, those are all on file with the city. Um, so there's some transparency there. Um, that's for the protection of the consumer. Um, some of these ride sharing apps, um, they say that they provide background checks. They say that they have insurance. Um, they say that they do vehicle inspections, but none of it's on file with the city. So we contacted the city and learned that they are just now tackling this issue, agreeing that Uber drivers need to get certified with the city. A city spokeswoman says they want to work with these drivers so that everyone can keep operating under city code, but it says Uber isn't responding to them when it comes to getting licensed. So until that time, the drivers, possibly unknowingly, are taking rides unlawfully in Eugene, and uh, as we get complaints, we'll have to follow up on investigating and enforcing on those. In all fairness, we sat down with Brooke Seeger before these new developments, so we contacted Uber again, and it sent us an email saying they are meeting with both Springfield and Eugene to educate them about their business model and update regulations. Meanwhile, taxi companies are deciding to steer towards their own technology. It's going to be competitive with anything else on the market. You'll be able to track your taxi in real time, uh, pay with credit card. For those drivers like Brenda, this new company will continue to be an answer to her prayers for now. This is something that I can do on my time. I'm in my own car. I'm comfortable and I'm making a living just like anybody else. Just to be clear, a violation would have to come from the city, not police, and it's based on a complaint basis. The certifications for drivers will cost about $70, but those drivers can to get the certification unless Uber gets its license. So the city is encouraging drivers to email Uber about this. In the studio, Jennifer Richardson, KEZI 9 News.